Hello guys, this is Deepak Sarma from Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube and in this lecture today I will discuss top 10 mechanical engineering interview questions and its answers. Okay, so quite wasting time, let's focus on important questions regarding mechanical engineering interview. Okay, so here I have written 10 questions, 10 most important questions from thermodynamics. Okay, so let me solve one question, every question one by one. So first question in my in this list is in enthalpic process in ice sorry in ice and enthalpic process temperature of the processed gas whether it is increased whether it is decreased or it will remain same. And the meaning of this question that's mean in in an ice enthalpic process. Uh, say for throttling process, throttling process is an uh, ice enthalpic process because during throttling process enthalpy of the gas remain constant. Uh, sorry, uh, during throttling process enthalpy of the gas remain constant. Yeah. So in this during uh, throttling process, temperature of the gas whether increased, decreased, or it, it will remain same. This is the question, and this is most important question why uh, almost asks in any thermal power plant engineering uh, mechanical engineering interview questions so how you will answer it so from property properties of pure substance when we studies the property of pure substance and sorry when we uh, go through any throttling process when you go through any throttling process throttling process then we will get a inversion curve in TP plane. This is T temperature and in P pressure. In temperature and pressure plane, we get a curve. That curve is known as inversion curve. Okay, this is this black color line. This black color line is known as inversion curve. This is inversion curve. Inversion curve. Okay. And this is the maximum inversion temperature T max, maximum inversion temperature, and this is the minimum inversion temperature. Okay, so question is whether the temperature of gas will increase or decrease or it, it will remain same. So according to me, uh, not according to me, basically according to this curve, this we call it a cooling region, cooling region in inversion curve cooling region this is heating zone your yeah, heating region heating zone and this is called inversion curve along this inversion curve the value of joule kelvin expansion coefficient will be zero that is mu j value of mu j will be zero so if the throttling uh, if the throttling of gas done in cooling region then the temperature of the gas remain uh, sorry the temperature of the gas will decrease and if the throttling will done in heating zone then the temperature of the gas will increase and if it done along if the throttling is done along this inversion curve this inversion curve then the temperature of the gas remain constant temperature of the gas remain constant and what is this red color what are these red color lines these red color lines represents ice and enthalpic lines ice and enthalpic line ice and enthalpic lines okay and you must uh, you just observe it that i have drawn it in a dotted manner in a dotted line why i have drawn it in a dotted manner because these curves has been obtained from the throttling process and throttling process is a highly irreversible process okay so a reversible process or uh, sorry a uh, an irreversible process can't be represent in continuous line in ts plane in, or in any property diagram of thermodynamics that's why i have represented it into dotted line okay so this is the answer of first question let's move to second question so in this list my next question is why condenser is used in a ranking cycle so this is a very basic uh, very simple question why condenser used in ranking cycle the main purpose of using condenser in ranking cycle or any vapor power plant vapor power cycle is to reduce the pressure of condensation so that 
process of condensation take place at at, at atmospheric pressure okay and uh, temperature of heat rejection can be reduced so for reducing the temperature of heat rejection we use condenser in rankine cycle okay and also possibly to make the process of heat rejection at atmospheric level so this is the main purpose of using condenser in rankine cycle let's move to second, uh, third question third question is what is pure substance and draw its component phase diagram in pv plane give one example of pure substance okay so our my question is what is pure substance a pure substance is a substance that have a single component substance and which is homogeneous in chemical composition throughout its mass the the uh, condition satisfied by uh, sorry the substance which satisfies these conditions that which has homogeneous in chemical composition throughout throughout its mass we call it as pure substance okay and in the in the same question next question is draw its component draw its component phase diagram in pv plane that's mean for a pure substance we have to draw a property diagram in pv plane okay so let me draw it for for any pure substance let me draw in in pv plane this is p pressure axis along y axis this is volume axis along x axis and this line represents triple point line triple point line triple point line this is 100% saturation line 100% saturated liquid line this is saturated liquid line this is saturated vapor line saturated vapor line saturated liquid line means along this line we will get 100% liquid and along this line we will get 100% vapor okay so for this line dryness fraction will be 0 and for this line dryness fraction will be 1 and this line represents different region say this is a uh, solid phase of pure substance S and this is the solid plus liquid phase and uh, between these reasons we exist only liquid so this is solid solid plus liquid liquid and this here is the dryness fraction is 0 and here is dryness fraction is 1 that's mean between these two lines we, we uh, there exist liquid plus vapor okay and beyond this saturated vapor line we uh, there only exist vapor superheated vapor superheated vapor all right and one thing also important that this saturated liquid line and this saturated vapor line merges at a point merges at a point and this point is known as critical point critical point you see as the pressure increase as the pressure and temperature increase saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line merges towards each other that means it will meet, meet at a certain point and that point will known as critical point okay and here I have represented a line this line this line is known as triple triple point line why we call it triple point line why we call it as triple point line we call it as triple point line because along this line there exists a liquid vapor plus solid phase three phase of a pure substance exists along this line okay that's why we call it as a triple point liquid line and along this line we have a fixed pressure and we have a fixed temperature sometimes in interview asked the interviewer asks that although it is a line but we call it as triple point we call it as triple uh, why we call it as triple point although it is a line we call it as triple point because here three phase of liquid exist at exist first things and we have a fixed pressure and temperature along this line okay so fixed pressure and temperature along this line represents constant constant points and by join, joining the locus of these constant point we draw we can draw triple point line that's why we we call it as triple point okay so this is all about
फेस डायग्राम ऑफ प्योर सब्सटेंस एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस लिस्ट इज गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ प्योर सब्सटेंस सो प्योर सब्सटेंस मे बी एयर और वाटर इट इज ओके विच हैज सो अ प्योर सब्सटेंस इज वन विच इज होमोजीनियस इन केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन थ्रू आउट इट्स मास ओके एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस लिस्ट इज what is critical point and what is triple point i have already told you what is critical point and what is triple point okay and what will be the value of pressure temperature and volume at critical point okay so value of this pressure temperature temperature and volume at a critical point is fixed so you must keep in mind that value of uh, pressure at critical point is 0.211 bar sorry 0.221 bar वॉल्यूम एट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज 0.00317 मीटर क्यूब पर के जी एंड टेम्परेचर एट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज 374.15 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड फॉर ट्रिपल पॉइंट प्रेशर प्रेशर ऑफ ट्रिपल पॉइंट इज 0.00611 बार एंड टेम्परेचर एट क्रिटिकल क्रिटिकल सॉरी ट्रिपल पॉइंट इज 0.01 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ओके वन थिंग यू ऑल्सो कीप इन माइंड दैट बियॉन्ड ट्रिपल पॉइंट इफ one thing you also keep in your mind that if we add heat to this solid if we add heat to this solid below this triple point line then this solid directly convert into vapor okay okay if you add this if you add heat to this solid below triple point line then this solid will directly convert into vapor and this process is known as sublimation sublimation so i have discussed five important question of mechanical engineering interview and it is not possible to discuss five more question in this lecture so i will discuss next five question in my next lecture so keep watching my videos on youtube and get better concept of mechanical engineering thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is fund of mechanical engineering thank you everyone